hello boys and girls. I hope you all had a great weekend. I'm ready to dive into this new week and I hope you are all ready to work hard. So again, for this week you have your virtual learning board. Remember that the colored boxes are the required boxes. I will go over each of these individual assignments in Canvas, but I wanted to show you this because you can click on these blue links and for the fun boxes and it'll take you directly to those websites. Now, remember this checklist right here is going to be very beneficial for you. It's going to tell you pretty much everything that's due so that way you can remember that and you don't have to sit and think, okay, what did I do? What did I not do? This will be very beneficial. So what you could do is what I suggest since it's on a PowerPoint instead of a PDF this week, you can go in Say you already have completed your reading already, I'm going to highlight that. Boom, I'm done. Okay, then you, for your language arts, okay, say you finished your packet last week, most of you did, or were supposed to, boom, that's done. Go take your Wordly Wise click quiz, highlight it. So once you get finished with an assignment, highlight it, so that way you know you have completed it. So that way by Friday, anything that's not highlighted, you know that you have to go back and complete. That's just a little trick tip for me to make your life easier. Now, on Canvas, it is set up just like it was last week. I think this is a little easier for you. It's all in one little module, so you don't have to go and hunt through math to find it, hunt through reading. So again, on week six, checklist and choice board, when you go there, you can download this same document that we went through at the beginning of this video. And again, it'll help you stay on track. Now for reading this week, it is the same exact thing as last week, except if you are not doing the already, if you don't have internet, the workbook pages are different. But if you have internet access, I strongly suggest you doing the iReady on your My Path instead of the workbook pages. It's just it's going to be quicker for you guys. So I know some of you say I hate iReady, but the iReady My Path lesson is going to be geared more towards you, and it's going to help you. Now, if you do not have access to the internet, these workbook pages are going to help you as well. But if you have internet, just go ahead and do this iReady lesson on your My Path, okay? Because if, even if you do the workbook pages, I need to see those, okay? If So if you're doing all your stuff in the packets, I need you to send me pictures on Canvas. Or your parents can send me pictures on Remind. I need to see that you're doing your work. So that's for reading. For science. You're going to be using your research you did last week on the, you you chose a planet to compare to Earth. So you're going to be using that research and you are either going to create a three paragraph essay, a poster, a video, or a PowerPoint or keynote comparing the planet to the Earth. You can do whichever you want. And if you want to do something else, like if you want to write a rap, that's fine. If you want to write a story, that's fun. You can be as creative with this as you want. You can go outside and draw it with chalk paint and see, or chalk, um, chalk on the sidewalk, comparing it and send me pictures of it. However you want to do it. When you are done, you need to submit it to me right here. And you'll be good with science. Now for math, it's the same thing as last week. If you have access to the internet, you are doing an iReady lesson on my path. If you do not have access to internet, you are doing the workbook pages 14 through 15. Again, if you have access to the internet, I highly suggest you do this my path lesson. It's going to be more geared to what you are struggling with. Then for Wordly Wise this week, if you have not finished Wordly Wise 14, the packet from last week, you need to make sure you have it finished this week. Then you need to take your Wordly Wise lesson, lesson 14 test by Friday, please. So make sure your packet is finished. Make sure you take your 
test. Now on Tuesday, we will be doing a Zoom and we are going to do a GIM kit over our Wordly Wise 14 words. So make sure you look over those before our Zoom on Tuesday. Now, A Night Divided. Hopefully you are keeping up with this. We are reading chapter 26 through 30 of A Night Divided. Um, the book, the, the copy of the PDF here, the audio, and it's also on Epic. And then for your extras this week, you have art. Art, you go to this website and you can pick one of the directed drawings and it'll help you draw that. You can share that with me on Canvas. PE, I want you to challenge yourself to move for 30 minutes. I know most of us are spending all of our time on our couch or in our bed watching TikTok, playing video games, whatever. I want you to get up and move for at least 30 minutes this week every day go outside walk around your house run go throw the football around throw the baseball around just do something active and then music you're going to learn a little bit about scott joplin so if you'll click there it'll take you to a link to learn more about him and then the fun activity for this week is you are creating your name with found objects so be creative so look if you you can go find create your name with sticks with like household objects, you can get makeup and create your name. However you want. Take a picture of it and send it to me. I would love to see how creative you guys are getting. So those are all the assignments for this week. You have one, two, three, four, five things that are required. You have five of the subjects that are required. Now that is not a whole lot. So if you think about it, you have a reading already lesson. A math I ready lesson, a science PowerPoint, and then your Wordly Wise test and Wordly Wise packet. That's five assignments that you have to turn in. If you do one a day, you will be done. If you sit down and actually really work on it, you could be done by Wednesday. I would start working on it Monday, try to get as much done as possible. Because if you get it all done, you can relax and not have to worry about it. So take take a minute to sit down and figure out, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this today, then I'll do the rest tomorrow. So make you a plan. Get you some notebook paper out, jot down, okay, Monday, your goal is to get your reading done. Tuesday, you are you want to get your math and your night divided done. And then Wednesday, you want to work a focus on science. And then Friday or Thursday and Friday you can figure out okay what did I not get finished what else do I have to do so please 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 message me if you have any questions and also I don't know if some of you are aware of this but on announcements I'm posting announcements a lot throughout the week so if you go here like right here this is from last week I post our zoom meetings I post just little reminders to you throughout the week. So please make sure you are checking your announcements. And if you have any questions, please message me and we will get all this stuff turned in. If you have work from last week that you have not finished, you need to get it turned in ASAP. I will be sending you a message on Canvas that to tell you if you are missing something. And if I do not have it turned in, I, ha I will go to your parents and let them know that you have assignments missing. But hopefully we won't have that problem. I'm sure everybody has all their work turned in. So we won't have to worry about that. So any questions, message me on Canvas. I will see you in our Zoom meetings this week. I hope we all have a great week.